Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. In today's episode, we are doing some fault finding on a circuit that's banging out. So let's get into this. Right, we've got a stuff into the job then. So we just need a little torch and the little ladders then, and we're all set then. So for fault finding, what we're gonna do is start at source then, open up the fuse board and see what's going on. So the customer's saying that they get a short circuit on the lighting circuit. So what we're gonna do is just check if that is the case. So we'll whip off the fuse board and uh, do some tests from there. So we're gonna use the fluke tester and uh, we'll go from there then. Right, so it's into the property now then. So we're just gonna look at the fuse board. There we go, so we've got upstairs lighting off. So we'll just whip this cover off and see what's going on there. There we go, that's the lid off then. So then we've just got one cable in there, if you look. So that's the one off, that's one in. So what I'm going to do is just disconnect the line, neutral and earth, and then we're going to do some tests on it. Right there, so we've got these cables out then. So it's a bit of a funny one. So that's the line and neutral, which we're banging out, took the earth out. Now, I've just tested between earth and neutral, earth and line, and it's given greater than 500 now. So it looks like we've got like an intermittent fault. So we'll have to still give everything a check over and see what's going on. But you, normally you'd see like 0, 0.0 mega or something on here, or 0, 0.01 or less than one mega essentially. Um, but I'm getting nothing to neutral and earth. There we go. 470, oh, that's basically greater than 500, isn't it? So, uh, right, I'll have to dig into the circuit then and see what's going on. Right then, so it's a funny one this, so obviously it's clear when we're testing it now, I'll just plug it back in, turn it on and it's blowing out. So usually if it's greater than 2 meg between line to earth, um, neutral to earth, it's going to turn on, it's going to be fine. And where it's not, so it's almost like something, uh, as you apply power to it, that's when it's jumping across and blowing. But normally you're able to see that on an insulation resistance test. So what we're going to have to do now then is just go off blowing it essentially, because we can't use the meter because it's uh, showing good readings. So what we're going to have to do then, so it's for upstairs lighting we know, we'll just turn it on the lights downstairs to see what's working, what's not. So it's just upstairs lighting, so what we're going to do in the bedroom, we've, we can see it's feed in, feed out, so you've got line and neutral in, line and neutral out, so we're just tucking, tucking, we've taken two cables out of the line and neutral of one of the inner outs, pulled it out, we'll turn it back on and we might get from the fuse board up to the first few lights live and then we can kind of do process elimination, see, like split it again, split it again and we'll have to figure out where the bad issue is, but it's going to be a lot of blowing out this breaker. Right then, with that split then, let's turn it on, see if it bangs out. Right, it's stayed on now, so let's go upstairs and see um, which is the live one in and what's working and what's not. Right then, so we split it there then. So, bring that on, that's come on. So we've got one room back on, which is good. Landing light, nothing. So, the most likely come out of the fuse board, picked up this light, that light, this light, this, and then here last. So, I'm feeling it'll be this light which is causing some issues. So, oh, there's also a bathroom in there. So, could be like a faulty fan, fan turns on, blows, you know what I mean? If it does not rock, you know. Right, let's see what's going on. There we go, just to show you then. There we go, and then coming in. Uh, truck power coming in, and the power going out to the next door is the issue. So this is checked then, did I? So I didn't have to feed and feed out. And that switches on nicely. So now we'll put that back together and we'll have to carry on going from room to room. But yeah, usually you can just get the continuity testers and you'll get like not point summer or whatever and that's your shot. <laughs> but we can't do with that because it's not allowing me to. Right, that's back together now. So that's carrying on the circuit through there. So we've split the other one in this room. Yeah, it's like it's looking a bit crispy into it if you look at that. So we split that, we're going to turn it back on and see if it blows. Right, back down there then, you ready? Right, stay on. That'll do. Right then, so... The fans come on! Yeah! That'll do. Right then, so what I've done is just wiggle that up. So there's... I'm just wiggling it through, because I bet this these connector box are just probably white shorting. Um, but it's strange that it won't even show up on insulation resistance test, so that's a bit strange. It's showing... Well, greater than 500, so that's a strange one, but yeah, that's the line and neutrals just cap through because it's not even working through that. This is on, bathroom lights on, so this is all fine. 
Um, what else we got? Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that's fine, that fan's working. So I can ignore this now. So, <clears throat> it's either that base, which is most likely, but you've got to check everything. Um, if not, you end up doing a little bit here, that looks suspicious. A little bit there, that looks suspicious. That fan looks old though, let's start looking at that and you can get a bit. You end up uh, kind of tying yourself in knots rather than working from source out. So it's either, it could be the cable down to here, because I said they had some like, um, rat issues. <laughs> so, <laughs> it could be that as well, that this cable from here to here, the switch wire has been nibbled. So we'll check that out. So what we'll do, we'll get a, we'll just connect that through some way goes. I've got like a three holes for the, for the switch wire, and that'll be, uh, that up so all we have to do is just swap that pendant out hopefully if that cable down to the switch is fine and then that'll be this fault fine sort all right then let's see what's in my little boxes so that sounds bad doesn't it? <laughs> right then. so hopefully we've got a little pendant there we go that'll do a little pendant i'm throwing a free light bulb i think they've got one that's the Little job size, so we can just plug it in and they've got temporary lighting, so we'll keep okay, pulled that actually. Right, let's get this fitted then. That'll do. There you go, that's all the MCBs back up then. So let's get this fuse board coming back in. Um, yeah, tell them what they so we've got to check everything works then. So you've got, you've got one side of the strappers there. So we'll turn that off and then switch it on upstairs. So obviously the way the lighting works is it either runs down one, one, one strapper or the other strapper. So we'll check both, make sure that's working as it should. There we go, so that's that on. What else we got? This guy's working. We'll turn everything on and then that's worst case then, isn't it? If it doesn't blow then and it lasts a while, then you're good. But yeah, when we were testing it, insulation resistance, it, were, it was showing fine. Turned it on, big bang. It's mad, isn't it? This is the test that can't be measured. <laughs> so like a normal, yeah, just, just trying to measure it with a, a test that didn't work, did it? So, right, that's that. And then this is the final test then. So the customer's found a little light bulb. Oh, it's on already. And there we go. Nice one. So that's a job well done. Yeah, hey, that's us done then. So it was a funny one, this one. So normally what you do is do a, well, continuity test between line earth, neutral earth, um, line neutral. So you should, so line neutral, you should be getting like a circuit's resistance, which would be like 30 ohm, something like that. But if you get like 0 point something, then you've got a shot between line and neutral. Um, line to earth, line to neutral, you should be getting, um, sorry, line to earth, neutral to earth, you should be getting like greater than 500 mega ohms. So you should be in the million ohm, so it needs to be higher than one meg or two meg really. Otherwise, it'll, it, it's an indication that it's, that it's going to be tripping out. Um, if it was an RCD, it was under one meg, it will be tripping out most likely. So, but yeah, we were testing it. It was, it was testing clear. Plugged it back in, turned it on, poof. Uh, took it off again, tested it clear. It's, oh, it's weird, that, isn't it? So yeah, it was just that weird, like, crispy connection. So I don't know what was going on with the connection, but um, if you sent a, like a, like a your, your tester's insulation resistance voltage down it, it didn't pick it up. You, you put 230 volts to it, and I was testing it at 250 and then 500. Um, yeah, blue, so a weird one really. So, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this fault finding, so we'll do some more fault finding videos. We don't normally film them, just, just a bit scattered. Um, but I think someone in the comments was saying, we, re we really want to see like fault finding stuff, because it's something we struggle with. So hopefully these fault finding videos help. So you can see how we kind of, um, more systematically kind of worked his way through the circuit, check the source of good, and then push that into the circuit, split it, just good side, bad side, and just keep going until you find it. So that's basically all I do. Right then, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me, and I shall see you on the next one.